The final team takes the ice here in the pairs free skate with a chance to medal. Katie Orsher and Garrett Lukash. She is 18 years of age and he is 24. They are both from Connecticut. It is Scott and Dulabond who have the lead on their way to a gold medal. Well, the door is really open now. This is one of the benefits of being the last to skate, especially on a night like this. So if they skate clean, they could maybe move up quite a ways. Well, they They're can in fourth place right now. Certainly medal, a silver or a bronze. They cannot win the gold right now. That was a rather, a rather first grade triple twist. And now this is a combination of jumps. He's side by side triple toes and right into double axles. They elected to just do the triple toes. And Here stepping the, right into the double, the double axles. axles. Yeah. He, and he had his hand down. Team's been together since the fall of 2000. Not good unison between the two in those sits and positions. And this is actually, Dick, their second competitive season together. They did compete internationally on the Grand Prix circuit. A couple of seventh place finishes for them. And very important competition here for obvious reasons, but also it will dictate their international assignments for the next year or so. That spiral sequence needs improvement and needs unison. Takes forever to become experienced pair skaters. She singled it. Doubled it, actually. His lips look very tentative. There's not a lot of confidence when you watch them do these. Dreaded throw jumps, the triple sal cow. Oh, good for him. Well done, go ahead. certainly are not skating with great speed and those positions right there are not not advanced enough
I, I've got to tell you, uh, you know, they certainly didn't fall on their jumps, but there was very little speed, very little excitement to the program. They're an emerging pair. It takes time. It takes a lot of getting together and moving together. Can they move up the medal, though, Peggy? Oh. I, I think they might be able to because they skated the, the, a clean program. And no one has really stood out no. in this pair's free skate. We'll it's come back to check the marks for Orscher and Lucas to see if they can make it to the podium in a moment. Back at the State Farm U.S. Championships in the Kiss and Cry, Orsher and Lukash. They may have just medaled for the first time in their careers at Nationals. And Tiffany Scott, Philip Dulabon. Yeah, they can wave, they can smile now because they know that they will win their first gold medal. And Garrett Lukash for technical merit. Now, how high will the marks be? There you go, Dick. Well, they're, they're really very good marks. They're very generous, Mark, and I think it's because they stood up. Uh, you know, they're an emerging pair, uh, and, and they need more speed, and they need more unison, but they're a very attractive couple on the ice, and they're good athletes, and I think it will come. Peggy, presentation marks. Well, I think they need a lot of work in that department, and, and working on their confidence, and, and, you know, working on the elements to make them much more effortless. The all-important yeah. judges' placements, yeah. Second place, a silver medal for Orsher and Lukash. Eight of the nine judges putting them in second place. Remember, they were in fourth going into the free skate. Well, this is going to give them some confidence to work on. But it's Tiffany Scott and Philip Dulabon who capture top honors for the first time in their career. Orcher and Lukash the silver, and there was so much movement in the standings. Inouye and Baldwin went from fifth to third. Cal Savage and Parcham from second to fifth, and that most likely cost them the spot on the world championship team. The first time